Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. Uh, we have another special guest uh, you, from York County, Virginia, a uh, actor, and he's been in the industry for a long time, uh, Robert Shepard. Welcome to Morning Mo Moments, Robert. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, be on and, uh, and let folks know about uh, uh, some things that uh, I'm involved with. Well, thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you have going that's what, that we're looking at and uh, how, how to get a hold of you and what what is uh, what, you, what have you been doing lately? Let me ask it that way. Most recently, uh, we have been um, releasing a, a film that I actually was a co-producer on and have the lead in called Past Shadows. And we bill it as a sci-fi faith-based film. And uh, we actually had the premiere this coming, this last rather Thursday night. And um, we have uh, some upcoming uh, showings at the Cinema Cafe in Hampton on the 15th through the 18th. And then later on uh, in the April timeframe, uh, it should be released on uh, multiple streaming sites. And for those that would really like one, which you hope there's a lot of those, you can order your own copy of the DVD. Great, great. Past shadows, is that correct? Yes. Great. And you've been in, if you've been in, in the film industry for a number of years and worked on a lot of things, but you, you've been leaning and doing more faith based now, is that correct? Um, I have always, um, you know, that's always been something that I really uh, look forward to doing. Uh, yes. So uh, I, but I've worked across, across the, the genre of all kinds of films uh, as well. Yeah, in this time that we're living in, I I ask a lot of our guests. Uh, you know, we're we're in some changing times. Is there anything that in particular that that you feel that uh, you've heard from God or God's felt like He's impressed on you about about this special time that we're living in? I think that. Um... The main thing that I have really felt actually was uh, God's uh, provision, if you will, in making this film a possibility. We had so many things that uh, happened. Uh, and, and when we look back, they were not accidents, I'm sure. And so I really do feel like that we had, um, you know, the, the, really the provision and protection uh, of God as we moved through uh, to get this film done. And one of those was actually uh, bringing in uh, Corbin Burson, uh, the veteran Hollywood actor who comes in to, for us to do a, uh, uh, basically a, a cameo uh, in our film, but it added so much star power to it. Uh, that, and again, when we look back at that, I really think that was a God thing. Yeah, I, uh, I was talking to a, sc a screenplay play writer the other day and he said, there's just a million things that can go wrong in getting a film out. And, a, and one of them can cause the film not to go out. And uh, he said, there's just so many details that people never see. I have been part of productions and, and, and unfortunately they were really great scripts and good cast. And halfway through um, the producers ran out of money. And consequently those films uh, never got finished, and uh, and that footage, which was beautiful, but there wasn't enough of it that you could make anything from it, like not even a TV pilot. So, consequently, that work just sort of become a stillborn, if you will. Well, in your industry, is no different in many ways than everybody else. But I I see it in your industry a lot, and I hear folks talking saying, you just have to put yourself out there and trust that God is in control and he's going to take whatever and, and go with it or not, right? Exactly. And in, in regard to this um, acting career, which I've been doing uh, now through the good Lord's grace for about 30 years, uh, but I had all of my life had a desire to be an actor. I was raised on a farm in the Missouri Ozarks. I didn't quite know how to get from there to where I wanted to go even though I wouldn't trade anything for that experience. So I had a lot of fits and starts of various things, uh, including making my national TV debut on the dating game uh, back in 1970. 
And there were other things uh, that happened, even a short eight months in LA 40 some years ago. And then due to some personal uh, medical and health issues, uh, we, we moved away. But I felt very clearly when we left LA 40 some years ago and decided to move back for at least a temporary time uh, to the family farm in Missouri, that God spoke to me and said, delay is not denial. And that said to me, don't worry about this acting career. It, it, it will happen. And so that really gave me a peace. And I went ahead and I actually went back into the army, uh, ultimately retired from the army. Uh, and I tell people now, you know, that actually then allowed me to afford to be a freelance actor because every month I had the army retirement check coming in, you know. So, but I really did. That was one of the times I really felt God had spoken to me and I really rested in that time. And I think I left that whole thing in his hands. And then consequently through his grace, like I have said, 30 years now, I've been working in film, TV, uh, and, and all kinds of uh, variations uh, in the uh, entertainment community. Well, I like that saying that says, uh, uh, delay is not a denial. Uh, you know, God's always, God's always faithful. He's unpredictable, but always dependable. And he's on time, even though when we don't see the timing. And I think that's our biggest challenge is that we have a set time in our mind, but that's not necessarily the perfect timing that God has for us. So that's that. So over the years, I think I've really learned to trust that, you know, that God really is in control and you can, uh, you can rest on that. You know, when we sit back and realize that God is in control and, and we're not, then he's able to do things that we would never do. I, I, I often say I, I could not orchestrate all the things that I've gone through and where I'm at. I, I just couldn't have figured that out. Mm -hmm. And just depending on God to put the right people at the right place at the right time in the right chapter of our life. And sometimes you look back and then you see, even though you didn't see it at the time, but you see how the hand of God was there and the provision was made, even though it may take years later to actually recognize it. Yes. You know, uh, Robert, I'm going to put down in the comment section uh, some contacts where, where uh, what you've done and also contacts to get a, getting a hold of you and the projects that you have. And uh, I would encourage everybody that's listening to this, if this has touched your heart and you know somebody that needs to hear this interview, please pass it on either through Facebook or, or through YouTube. And, and I say this all the time, more important than anything else. When you think of Robert, I want you to pray for him, that God would continue to use him in the industry that he is in and to be a light in the midst of darkness. Amen. Is there any, any closing thoughts that you have for us today? First of all, I just appreciate uh, this opportunity for us to uh, connect and uh, look forward uh, to continuing to following uh, you and all the good things that you are doing. Thank you. Hey, and thank you so much for being my guest today, uh, Robert, there in York County, Virginia, not too far from Virginia Beach, right? Right up, uh, right up a highway from us. And I want to thank you so much. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today for Morning's Morning Moments. And may I just say, may God richly bless you today. Thank you so much. Amen. <laughs>